Hi everybody! Welcome to this special Banshee's Birthday Month edition of Mr. O's Emotional Exchanges. April Fools! <laughs> but not about Banshee's Birthday Month. Oh no, that is true. But here's Mr. O for his emotional exchanges. <laughs> Are you calling me a fool? <laughs> Well, you know what they say, only a fool falls in love. Ah, <laughs> April, happy April <laughs> Fools, everybody. There's got to be a blooper in here somewhere. Right. It wouldn't be right. us. Yeah, so just imagine all the ones you didn't see. <laughs> I'm going to let you do your work, Mr. O. All righty. All righty. Bye, everyone. And thank you, uh, Banshee, for that wonderful introduction. Really appreciate that. Happy April Fools, everyone. So here we are with the emotional exchanges for the week. And this week is April 1st, April Fool's Day, until next Thursday, and that's the 6th. So have a good but safe April Fools, no matter what you do. And we're gonna get started. So as we all know, I've been using the uh, fabulous Final Rose Tarot. Uh, it's kind of a novelty tarot, but I get nice results, results I like. And it's a beautiful deck, shines gold on gilt edges. It seems to be a tie-in with a popular reality uh, dating or bachelor type show, indeed called The Final Rose, or heavily themed with that. So, <clears throat> in this uh, new format I use, I still want to work with the elemental energies of the 12 signs of the zodiac. This is a complete reading for each sign of the zodiac. I pull two cards. One card is your, your good vibration, the, the good energy around you uh, or things around you for this next week. And then the next card is the bad trip. And that's the negative emotional energies that you may need to watch out for that maybe are somewhere lurking in your life. Hopefully not too bad. All right, so because I do this through an elemental correspondence, I'm gonna cut the deck into four piles, and as I work through the zodiac, I will draw for each sign from their actual elemental uh, deck or slice. So I'm gonna turn the uh, camera down so you can see that a little bit better. Whoops, and we're gonna go. Okay, so first pile is air. Fire, water, and earth. All right. And I'm working with fire first, Aries, so that was our second pile. And you've drawn Major Arcana 12. The Hangman, reversed. And in this deck, it's to be continued, the cliffhanger. So this is actually your your good vibe. Um, and that may be saying that you can use this time to not necessarily make a decision um, that you don't feel you're qualified to make or you don't feel you know enough about or that you haven't really understood all the various ramifications, the cliff hanging as it were. And so your good vibration really amounts to um, putting off really serious emotional based decisions, at least for this next week or so. Um, 
because you're probably just better off not making them. You're probably better just dealing with finding out what all those parameters and ramifications of um, things that are going on emotionally for you are. Okay, so uh, I'm also going to pull for the bad trip from the bottom of each deck. So from the bottom of the fire deck for Aries, your bad trip <laughs> is the Ten of Rings, uh, hometowns, and of course that's not really a bad card, but maybe what it could be saying then is that um, a bad vibration might feel like maybe there's a confiningness about your emotional situation, whether it involves a family or a strong circle that that in some sense there's, you know, it's kind of like the idea of family, you know, you have to do it because it's family. So in other words, the, the bad trip could be that your emotional commitment to a family or foundation kind of setting may not exactly uh, allow you to make some of these choices or decisions. So I'm, I'm sort of pulling that other idea in there. And so you may have to try to hold your own ground here. Ten of rings or pentacles maybe is suggesting sort of a, a, a line in the sand or a pulling together of forces. So that may be very likely what you'll have to do in the situation. All right, so then now I'm going to go to uh, Taurus, the earth sign, and that's our, our fourth pile here. So your good vibration, Taurus, is the uh, seven of wands, seven of roses here, drama. Well, I think this is saying that your good vibration means you're really enacting uh, emotionally very much from a strong position of protectiveness and or meeting what this challenge may be. Um, so if it's an actual, you know, like relationship situation, maybe there's drama in the relationship. And so you're going to try to seize your high ground, but you still may have to consider that from an emotional point of view in this relationship or situation, there may be a perception there, um, you know, of, um, not exactly desirable, I'll just say it that way. So then also moving back to the earth pile and pulling that bottom card for Taurus to show the uh, bad trip. And it's the reversed Knight of Swords called the Knight of Mirrors. The Meathead, it says. And that's probably really true um, I dropped it for a moment there, uh, with it reversed. Um, so it could be saying that uh, within this context of the, the emotional, you know, staking a high ground and maybe being a little bit flamboyant there, there's also this thing that you should try to avoid or that you may not be able to avoid, and, and that could be an antagonist uh, of some sort or antagonist feelings uh, that are summed up by maybe moving too quickly or too forcibly. So if you're going to be a drama queen of some sort in your relationship situations, you may have to tr avoid the tendency to really move too quickly forcibly because you'll be considered a meathead. Can't say it any better than that. So that's Taurus. So now we're going to go back down to the first pile for air and their first card, the good trip, is Gemini, and you have the reverse Queen of Pentacles, it says the single mom. <laughs> reverse Queen of Pentacles is a single mom. Okay, well that's interesting, I guess it's that way for it upright too, but your good vibration may be saying that you need to understand that you don't have to be the mommy, male or female, you don't have to be the person who has to worry and take care of everybody that maybe in this week, you really find you can chuck some of that off a little bit. You know, you can let the other dependents that are not 
you know, a primary or emotional strong uh, romance that you may be seeking dominate you emotionally in that way or maybe just co-opt some of your time and energy. It's time for you to kind of take care of yourself, you know, turn on the bath water and have a bubble bath or a glass of champagne or both. But take care of yourself this week, Gemini. <clears throat> now, from the bottom of the air pile, what is your bad trip? And it's the Five of Pentacles. It's upright. And the Five of Pentacles says insecure. And, you know, the, the, the typical picture is, you know, um, feeling needy and not seeing that there's a church that maybe could comfort you right there. And, of course, a church is just an allegory. We all take comfort or understanding or care from various sources. And so your bad trip may be saying that you always feel insecure about doing things like in the first card, like just sort of telling people, you know, to take care of themselves. Maybe Gemini in this week, you need to analyze that a little bit and realize that, you know, the world doesn't fall apart um, because you're not there to help guide it along. Um, that maybe you need, like the first card says, to think about yourself and take care of yourself this week. And so if that's a bad trip, it may only be because you'll have to get over some of these preconceived ideas that you're indispensable. <clears throat> and realizing that may be kind of harsh. So then uh, from uh, the uh, air sign Gemini, uh, we go to Cancer, our third sign. And you're a good trip, Cancer. You have the Ace of Roses, that's the Ace of Wands, it's upright. It says First Impression Rose. And I suppose that's terminology from the show. I don't understand that necessarily. But as a good vibration, the upright Ace of Wands says maybe for Cancers, you feel like you're beginning a strong social life that has many possibilities for you. It's not just necessarily good friends or strong romantic potentials. It may also be other potentials that will help you out in your career or your business or vocationally. So maybe very good things will happen in the way of meeting reliably good folks that you can kind of sink to a little bit in terms of uh, each of you maybe uh, showing your magnetic uh, charismatic potentials to each other. You know, sometimes when you show your sense of vulnerability, that's when somebody else's vulnerability opens up and then it becomes sim simpatico, simpatico relationship. Um, that's a very old term, I suppose, simpatico relationships. So cancer, that kind of seems nice. So what could be your bad trip then from the bottom of the water element deck? It's the reversed... Queen of Wands, Queen of Roses. And it says the Beauty Queen, but it's reversed. And so the bad trip could be that you're not really feeling it. You're feeling very unmagnetic, uncharismatic. Uh, you don't feel yourself gravitating towards being out there trying to. Um, show in a, in your own way and I, I mean that sort of silly but maybe just trying to present yourself in a cohesive uh, powerful way that would be to garner the right attention to yourself whether it be romantic or whether it be career building or whatever else in between or beyond that your bad trip is that you're lacking this confidence you're lacking this sense of your ability to be charming uh, and so that may interfere with you this week. It almost sounds astrological. I'm just going to leave it at that uh, for uh, Cancer, the water signs. And that means we're back to uh, our next grouping of elemental signs with Leo, the fire sign. And that's from our second pile. So Leo, your good trip is the upright five of wands. No, I'm sorry. That's the eight of wands. Excuse me. And sometimes that gold guilt kind of 
coincides there. Whoa. Anyway, the Eight of Wands upright, I believe, would suggest that um, it's about speed and action and maybe uh, a direction or focus of your energy uh, for this week. That may be from the romantic or emotional relationships point of view. Uh, the fire signs maybe are really thinking about being direct. And you know, wands, that's pretty fire signy. Being direct and focused and really moving uh, diligently. That word just has come into my mind. Diligent and with good good speed. So I think if you're moving into relationships, I think it, Leo's, it's really about very uh, confident of themselves and very capable feeling of advancing the notions of, of relationships or within a relationship already. So what could be bad? What could be your bad trip? Whoops, wrong sign. Fire signs. Deck two. Your bad trip is the reverse two of pentacles, two of rings, the final two. And the reverse two of pentacles, uh, as a bad trip goes, it, I guess it's just really kind of affirming the ideas of, of balance. And we see the, the two hearts in a scale there, so it's just a little bit of an allegory perhaps. But it may be that um, if you're putting all this energy into your charisma and moving forcefully or with some, some amount of speed and importance towards your romantic or relationship goals, you may be neglecting other things in your life that you need to balance at this time and that maybe are actually important for you to balance at this time. And it's the Two of Pentacles, and so it's really saying don't forget about some of your other matters that maybe are more about uh, material matters, security matters, but it could include some other things too. Uh, so pay attention to that fire sign Leo. <clears throat> so now we're going to go to the earth sign Virgo in our fourth slice here. And Virgo, you have, you have the six of pentacles reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed. Quality time, it says. Well, to me, when I look at the Six of Pentacles uh, reversed, I get the feeling that uh, your good trip is that maybe you find uh, that you have been maybe more generous towards other people and that now would be the time to be more generous with yourself. So you're sort of in a similar boat to one of the other signs earlier, I think that was Taurus maybe, uh, the idea that this is a time for you, your good vibration is to really take care of yourself rather than taking care of others. And I don't know that that's necessarily because you have an obligation to take others. It may just be more about how you generally or classically uh, have looked towards being uh, nice to others when you can, but maybe for reasons I don't exactly can say or know, you are feeling that idea here that this is a time for you Virgos to really uh, take care of yourself. And it's kind of interesting because Virgos are, are notable for being very service oriented. But sometimes, you know, our clocks, whether they're shaped like a heart or not, uh, maybe they're, they're uh, needing a little recharging time, a little rewinding time. Okay, so then what's your bad trip then, Virgo? And your bad trip is the reversed Eight of Rings. That's the Eight of Pentacles, and it says camera guy. And so the bad trip may very well be that you need to do this focus right now because you may have been relying on partners of some sort or somebody in your team. If it's romantic, for sure, it looks like maybe somebody has kind of went either AWOL or there's just some sort of difficulty possibly going on with bringing things to fruition. So if you are working with people romantically or just within relationships and other th close team situations, you may have found you, you can't work with them, or at least at this time, you need to focus on yourself, your needs, how you're fitting in, and maybe less on relying with what the partners or team members are doing because they're probably off script. Okay, so that was Virgo. 
And so from Virgo, we move to the first sign, uh, first air sign, Libra. Libra, what is your good trip? Libra, you have the Ten of Cups, the good trip, the proposal, it says underneath. So as a, as a good vibration, rather, I keep saying good trip, get a little silly here sometimes, but the good trip, the good vibration for uh, Libra, I think there's something going on here for Libra. I'm wondering maybe if Libra finds that this week really fulfills a lot of things about what they find in terms of emotional happiness. We can relate it maybe to possibilities of uh, other kinds of pleasure or emotional happiness that are not strictly romantic or friendship oriented. But I think that's what's going on here is that your good vibration, you're vibrating to a big potential for uh, something happening that is basically um, really a culmination on what you've been wanting. So I think it could be very special for you, Libra. So what's your, your bad trip? What is the bad vibration or trip? And it's the hero fent, the host, upright. So it's kind of interesting. The bad trip, the thing that maybe you're trying to avoid, is falling within a certain orthodox or conventional or conformist pattern with what's going on here. So maybe that if you're really uh, magnificating, magnification towards emotional happiness, you want to sort of shuck off some of the the shutters of discipline as they approach the areas of manners and mores. And it may be that what you're feeling emotionally is so intense or profound at this time. And you know, Libras, in some ways, Libras, you know, you are the epitome of the balance. You may be hard to read internally because you may affect a certain way, but sometimes Libras, you may be very in the middle, very uh, hard to read exactly what you feel. And I think this is saying that's maybe what will interfere with some of card one, your good vibration. The idea of being too orthodox or too unwilling to change, you have to be willing maybe to change a little bit to kind of kick up your heels uh, and let that good vibration in. Okay, Libra, so now we're moving on to the second water sign, Scorpio. Scorpio happens to be my sign. So what's your good vibration, Scorpio? Well, you have the reverse King of Cups, and it says the single dad. Reverse King of Cups, your good vibration. Well, I guess I'm going to say that uh, you have like other signs, you have to uh, maybe be a little bit more emotionally needy yourself. Maybe you have to uh, speak up for the sense of emotions you want to feel, Scorpio, for the sense of things you care about, the pleasures, relationships, loves that you are enticed to right now. Maybe you want to not necessarily think about other people first this week. Maybe it's time for you really to give in to your nature and of course with Scorpio that could that could be kind of um, interesting so think about that Scorpio now what is the bad trip so it's the water signs underneath pile and it's the chariot the limo and I guess what this is saying really is that uh, the sky isn't necessarily the limit because maybe the actual uh, ability to find motivation or find uh, the ability to to really take command of the situation uh, is is at play here and maybe you know you might feel it you might not necessarily I know the card is aspected good but I'm thinking as a as a bad trip goes it may be that uh, this is going to work against you somehow um, and so throwing this out there as an idea, but maybe um, what you want to do to bring emotional happiness to yourself 
is limited by what you can actually uh, take charge of. Uh, that maybe there are some things that maybe you just can't take charge of at this time. Uh, I'm just going to leave it there because I'm, I'm a little bit profoundly uh, shocked by that. Wow. So now we're going back to our last round of elemental signs, and that's starting with Sagittarius for fire. What is your good vibration? Your good vibration is the world, Major Arcana 21. It's reversed, though. <coughs> it says the fans, reversed. So I think from that emotional point of view, you realize you still have something else you can do. You have something else you can work on to make emotional situations in your life more perfect. You've kind of achieved a certain level of what you want, but you know you're not there and you know you can get there. So that's emotionally the good vibration, that sense of being able to move on. Now what is your bad trip from the bottom of that deck. And it's the reverse Ten of Swords. Ooh. Rejected. Well, you know, in the typical Ten of Swords, that is a big deal of rejection. So the reverse Ten of Swords. The bad trip, the bad vibration is whether or not you're allowing any uh, possible emotional matters to interfere with your search for perfection. And by that, what I mean is maybe the idea that this is tying into that idea. There's the idea that maybe something didn't really work out for you from the emotional point of view. Maybe there was something that was really um, sundered or split apart or defeated uh, your chances at a particular emotional um, engagement you wanted to happen, whether it was about an actual relationship or just something fun. Don't let this idea of defeat interfere or stop you from seeking to achieve the perfection you're looking for, Sagittarians. <coughs> And I wanted to give a special shout out to one of my favorite Sagittarians, Paul at Arts and Crafts over on the other side of Michigan. And I hope you're feeling better and I hope you continue to heal well. Take care. All right, so from Sagittarius, we're going to move uh, to Virgo, the Earth Slice. <clears throat> And you have the King of Pentacles, the Jeweler. I kind of like that. And your good vibration suggests really that uh, something very material that is also yet highly emotionally charged for you uh, is going to be your focus this week. And so it could be a number of things, perhaps. It could just be that maybe what you love is literally uh, high material contentment, high material acquisition. And so maybe you're going to be vibrating to this kind of idea that uh, something uh, materialistic and wonderful is happening for you in this week. Maybe you know about that or maybe you're going to see that happen. Uh, could it also mean something else? <clears throat> Could it mean that maybe you're doing this for somebody you care about? I'm not really sure. I think it could go a number of different ways, but it's hard for me to say exactly because we are talking about the pinnacle of financial ability, the freedom that that brings, but also the ability to patronize what you want, to love what you want, to enjoy what you want. 
So it's a pretty good vibration. It's a good way to start. So I'm not going to hem around anymore. Uh, we're going to see what Capricorn has going <clears throat> as their bad trip. And it's the reversed Eight of Cups. And it says self-elimination. And the bad trip, the thing that could possibly be at interacting with the good vibration, is maybe <clears throat> this will be hard to achieve or to realize if you seem to not want to move ahead, if you seem to want to remain behind, if you continue to feel that maybe there is something for you to glean from the past, self-examination, but it it really seems like there's something there you should give up. And so that's what the bad trip is saying is that <clears throat> you can't really focus this attention on this new project, whatever that is, whatever you really love, but also brings something highly successful in other realms to you if you continue to focus on something about that from the past or some way that it, it has bearing on the past. Okay, Capricorn. So then we're going to go on to Aquarius. And that's the first air pile. And so uh, their good vibration is the upright Three of Swords. And it says red flags. And of course, Three of Swords, you know. So it's a good vibration. It may be saying really that you're aware of those things that maybe are uh, pulling you apart from what you love or what you perceive you love. It, it could be that maybe because these are mirrors, what you're really looking at is a relationship that presents a possibility. And so maybe you have to really examine what this is about. What relationship may be um, changing and maybe why is that good for you to examine that probably because there were red flags all along and so you may be seeing that for you Aquarius with certain emotionally charged relationships it might be best to find your way to separate from them <clears throat> why did I make that so hard I don't know but anyway so then what is your bad trip also from the air element oh, slice your bad trip says it's the Ace of Rings, the Ace of Pentacles. So right away I'm thinking like, you're not going to get the ring back if there was a ring involved. But it says bad trip and it says first date. <clears throat> first date, beginning. So the bad trip may be that some of the situation is very fresh because maybe you really felt you were just beginning the situation or maybe you had changed a particular focus if it was already a relationship going on. Maybe you went to some other aspect or level within the relationship and then all of a sudden these red flags came out. Um, you know, there could be any number of ways of looking at that. And so now that's what the bad trip is, is that maybe you need to figure out how you can, you can get away from this. how you can move towards some other potential because it could represent that too but it is the bad trip idea and then now we're on Pisces from our water element uh, <clears throat> deck <coughs> and Pisces has the three of cups three of flutes here to make friends and Pisces, I think your best vibration is maybe saying, this is just a good time for you to really emotionally enjoy everything that is within that sphere of your life. So that could be your friends, all the things you love doing. Maybe you just want to uh, exchange some recipes with somebody and have a bake-off, you know, or whatever it is. Whatever you really find yourself enjoying this is the week to unleash your vibration and focus towards that Pisces that you can be friends with many people without taking things deeper 
Um, you can love many different th kinds of things without them necessarily having context to each other. So it's a wonderful time for Pisces. Uh, gee, I almost wonder if you're going to have something really interesting in your bad trip. And it's the reversed Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> For the wrong, for the right reasons, it says. For the right reasons. I forgot about this one. And the reverse Sun Pentacles says, to me, what it really says, I think, as a bad trip, is that you might find this to be more work than you're willing to take at this time, Pisces. That if you're really thinking that this was an emotional time to really kind of be a little larger than life than you normally are, you will really have to work hard at it. And it could be for a number of reasons. It could be because <clears throat> things had changed in terms of your personal status quo, how people maybe looked at you. It could have been for a number of reasons. Maybe you were out of the social scene due to the pandemic or any number of other reasons. And so now trying to throw that show of faith out there that that hands maybe is not necessarily being perceived the way you want it to it's going to be some hard work to figure out exactly what it is you need to do to re-engage back into that world the world of friendships and welcoming things <clears throat> and so that is what i have for pisces and so that's it for the emotional exchanges. So I'm really glad you came here, joined me and the brief cameo from uh, Banshee. So I hope you can figure out the emotional exchanges for your life. Don't forget to watch Saturday's happy hour. That's tomorrow at 10 a.m. And we'll be back on Sunday with more too. So please like, comment, share, subscribe, etc. And happy April Fool's Day.